We're bringing the biggest season of sci-fi ever seen on Earth from across space and time. There's a thousand screenings across the UK, so there's great talent. There are TV classics, cult classics, rarities, films you've never seen before. I think what's so exciting about science fiction is the fact that it is about boundless imagination. So I think that's the key point. It can introduce these big ideas very surgically almost into popular culture. The key message for the sci-fi season is that sci-fi encompasses the biggest, most popular films you've ever seen and also the small and the wondrous and that's why we're calling it Days of Fear and Wonder. Our key message is we want people to make new sci-fi films, we want to make great visions of the future and we expect to have a massive audience this autumn for celebrating sci-fi. People want to imagine what the world would be like in the future and how they'll manage that world. You can't experience the sublime without experiencing terror first. And I think there are, there are some films and some filmmakers who are very interested in, in that sense of overcoming and producing this sense of wonder. My favourite film is Alien, undoubtedly, for many reasons. And one is that I saw it when I was 11 at the Film Society at school. And I think all 11 year olds should have the, the possibility of seeing Alien, which is, I think, the greatest science fiction film of all time. I think we, the BFI, don't want to just impose our meanings on the audience, we want to have a dialogue with the audience. And one of the great things about sci-fi is that there's a huge community of fans who are already having a big dialogue about sci-fi. So we want to look at international art house filmmaking, great documentaries, classic cinema, unknown and forgotten films we want to bring back to, to public attention. It's for everybody. Sci-fi is such a popular genre and we love the films. It's a great way for us to start to engage with new audiences. The classic thing to say about science fiction is that it, it always reflects the fears of the time in which it's made. But it's almost more interesting to talk about wonder because it's so overlooked. Those have been themes throughout human history. If you look back through the beginnings of our understanding of the universe, you, you see a juxtaposition between fear and wonder all the way through.